Now we'll clean up our user interface for the author tab and then we'll move on to the book tab. Okay, the first thing that uh, we can see is that these buttons are not the same width and neither, neither are they spaced well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, the first button and then keep the command button or the control button on your keyboard uh, pressed and then click on the others. You'll see that all the buttons get selected. Next, right click and same size when you hover over same size then the little box appears click on same width so we got all our boxes all our buttons the same width and what we're going to do is we're going to let the uh, G, the GUI builder help us to space these these buttons now so as you can see that there's some guidelines appearing all right now i think our buttons look good the school library system text it's been cut off because obviously there is not enough space for it so I'm going to make the box a little wider and there we go let's see how that's uh, centered compared to the panel good now I, th I feel there's a bit too much of space here so I'm going to make my table a little wider fantastic let's take a preview so far so good the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the on the book tab now this is very similar. I'm going to start off with a panel. And a table. Let's see how that looks. Very good. Make the table a little smaller. All right, let's stretch the panel vertically, horizontally, and then vertically. Stretch the table. There we go. And now I'm going to adjust the properties of this panel to include a titled border. Set the title to book. And click on OK. Close that. So far, so good. Right now, here we're going to add uh, a few elements as well. J label. Let's duplicate that. And again, change the text. This one will say title, edition, and author. Okay, now for the first two fields, we're going to put in text uh, uh, text fields. All right, stretch that and duplicate it. All right, we move the labels back into position. So far, so good. But there's a small little issue here. With the author, we're not going to use a text field. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to use instead a combo box. And we're going to populate this combo box with the names and surnames of authors from the database. All right, so far, so good. Let's put in a J label here. So we need some space for our buttons. So we place in four buttons. I'm just going to reduce the size of this one so we can fit uh, four buttons side by side. I should actually be duplicating those. There we go. And one more button.
the Mac Wheel of Death. So I'm going to reduce the space there and try and put this one more button in here. Okay, I'm going to move my buttons up again. We'll edit the text. This one will be insert, edit, delete, and clear. Very good. And just as we did previously, we're going to adjust these buttons so they are all the same size. So widen this panel a bit. Going to need to reduce the table width. Need to space it a bit. All right, looking good. Let's make these text fields wider so we don't have that nasty space. We're going to align these right. Let's make it a little wider. Same here. And here. All right, now my buttons have gone off. Oops, happens. All right, let's take a look at the preview. Okay, from the preview, you can see that everything looks fine there. We need to adjust this J label, and obviously, this nasty space at the bottom needs to be uh, uh, reduced. So, let's start with the space. Let's make it a little smaller than that. There we go. J label will edit the text. School library system. Let's edit the properties. Again, we'll change the font. I think it was size 24. Center it to the panel Let's make it a little wider. Yep. All right, now let's take a look at the preview. Alright, there's a bit of a spacing issue here, which we're going to fix up. This is looking good. And there's a spacing issue here as well. Minor issues. And there we go. 